Hello, hi, back again. So Colin and I just went to go get iced coffee from McDonald's and then you you get an ice cream cone as well. Okay, I know this is nothing new or revolutionary. People have done this forever, but ice cream cone, black coffee. Put the ice cream in the black coffee. Very similar to just getting McDonald's iced coffee with cream and their sweetener, except it's better. It's creamier and it's not too sweet. Slow. But anyway, I was I wanted to tell you all that I'm in Winnipeg. Surprise, surprise. You kids! Can't keep your heads to yourself. I'm gonna turn this car around and there'll be no Cape Canaveral for anybody. That's it. Back to Winnipeg. I actually came to surprise my mom, dad, Jasmine, and the cats. They were all pretty shocked. And Colin is here too. Mochi was so hyped to see me. Like he was like wagging his tail and crashing into me and everything. But Harry was literally hissing at me and running away from me for a long time. Made me very sad. He definitely felt abandoned. And that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. I don't want him to feel that way, but it took him like a few hours and then he warmed up to me. But literally every time Colin was petting him, I would go up to pet him as well and he would just sprint away. Made me very sad. What are you barking at? This is why I've turned into a cat person. Cats don't just like bark at nothing. I want him to have his voice. Like I respect that he uses his voice and that he stands up for himself verbally, but I, I don't want to hear it. Like it's so ear pinching and loud and just at the worst time. Yeah, I mean like he's cute and everything, but God. Here's Jalapeno. Hey bud. How are ya? Jalapeno has no teeth, so his tongue sticks out. Every time I come to Winnipeg, there is no obligation to do anything productive. I eat all of the food I want to eat. I drink all of the alcohol I want to drink. I smoke some weed. Just relax. Just take life easy. It's restorative. Fernanda got me on these twin snake gummies. One side is supposed to be sour, one side is sweet. I honestly don't think that that's true, but they taste good either way. This one's my favorite, lemon and apple. Oh, hello. Can I have one? <laughs> this is cherry and orange. I feel like I keep smelling piss over here. Do you smell that? Well, I know your dog is kind of renowned for- Well, yeah, but like, it keeps coming out of nowhere. <laughs> I do smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you book updates, cause I don't know. That's just a thing that I do now, I guess, is book updates. I don't have the book with me, but we can pretend. This book, I finished it, really good. Um, eight and a half out of ten, for sure. It was, like, very enjoyable. The plot was good. It had a big twist near the end that I wasn't expecting. I just wish it was a little bit longer. Like, I got sucked into the world and the main character and everything, and then it just sort of ended. Um, with a fine ending. Like, I'm not mad at the ending, but... I don't know, I just like when I get into a book, if it lasts for a while, because I'm already- I've gotten all into the whole mindset of the book. Yeah, really good. I'd recommend it for people that like the books that I like. <laughs> but so, the next book, I was telling Colin that I really want some easy fiction books. I don't know, something about summer makes me want to read, like, Sally Rooney. Easy to read. 
novels that are like spicy and interesting and stuff. But we were in Indigo and I was telling him that I just cannot read a book right when I don't like the cover. If I really don't like the cover, it com completely turns me off from wanting to read the book. Oh my god, it's Duolingo. Time to do my Spanish, bitch. Um, but yeah, I... Oh yeah, right. I judge books by their cover. Really hard. I also judge them based on Goodreads. But I'm trying to not look at Goodreads until after I finish the book now. It's a new thing I'm doing. But anyway, Colin picked out this book in Indigo. Kind of joking about it. He's like, haha, I bet you wouldn't like this one. But he also took it out because Jade. I am Jade. And green. Green's my favorite color. But we were like joking about it. And we're like, lol, I don't like the cover. Like, I don't like the cover, personally. This this kind of cover turns me away from books for some reason. I just don't trust what's in it when they look like this. But throwing that all aside, we were reading the back of the book. And Jade has a twin sister. I also have a twin sister. Let me just read it to you. Jade Brown, a 24-year-old first-generation Jamaican woman living in Toronto, must find a way to pick up the pieces and discover who she is following the mysterious death of her twin sister. Grappling with her grief, Jade seeks solace in lovers and friends during an array of hilarious and heartbreaking adventures. As she investigates some of life's most frustrating paradoxes, she holds tight to old friends and her ex-girlfriend. She gay. <laughs> On the journey to turning 25, she finally she finally sees that she belongs to herself and goes about the business of reclaiming that self. So, Slay. Slay, I'm giving it a chance. I'm gonna try and read it. Because Jade, Green, Twin, and Gay. That is why I'm giving it a chance. But yeah, definitely, otherwise, does not look or sound like something I would read. I'm still reading The Artist's Way. I have no updates about it. It's fine. It's alright. One other thing that I wanted to mention is there are these... I call them chocolate balls. <laughs> They're gummies wrapped in chocolate. And you can get them at like TNT or Asian grocery stores and stuff. But so this is the best flavor, if you ask me. Strawberry flavor? I'm obsessed with these. I Every time we're in TNT, like the first place I go is to go get my chocolate balls. Um, and I've had a couple flavors by them. I've had the grape. Where's a grape? Like muscat or something? Whatever that is. Strawberry and apple. But Colin and I, this was in Vancouver, we were on Robson Street, and there's this small Japanese store. I'm sweating. I'm li I'm literally so warm in here. Holy. You should open the window again. Oh, that's a good breeze. Um, Japanese grocery store. And they had mango! And mango's my favorite fruit. So, I'm gonna give it a try. I've never seen mango before. I didn't know mango flavor existed. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, I think my camera says it's too hot right now. It feels hot. I'm gonna put it in the AC. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely too hot. Okay, well, these are not that good. They kind of do taste like mango though. Okay, that was all I wanted to say. Now I'm leaving. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself. <laughs> okay, bye.